Motley is who you sound like. <laughs> Craig has been broken. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna guess we start this again. No, it's, it's good. I like this introduction. I like to show how happy we are before we start doing a commentary. <laughs> oh, I love you, Daniel. Um, thank you, Craig. Well, oh, that was so funny, thank you. No problem, I thought I'd in the mood. <laughs> should we leave, should we leave it as a mystery as to what happened before this commentary started? <laughs> we should. Okay. Uh, right, anyway, Hi, everybody. Let's, yeah, let's, let's say hello, right, Who, who's here? Who's present? Right, let me go down the list. Crimson Azov. I'm here. Afro Dan. Here. Stampy Long Nose. Stampy um, Long. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Uh, here. Uh, Hello, and welcome to our Call of Duty Black Ops commentary with uh, Stampy that's Long Nose and Afro Dan. That, that's what I normally say. <laughs> yeah. Cheers for coming, Ray. I'm here also, Ray. but I'm I'm not properly here. Are you not? <laughs> no, I'm just sorry here. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. In the, yeah. Okay. The gameplay. Right. What's going on? Right. This is uh, Afro Dan playing at the moment on your screen. <laughs> Uh, in the bottom right hand corner, that is me running around with my AK-47, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, they're basically going to be cutting between both our perspectives throughout the game. Crimson Azov is not present in this game, but he is blessing us with his beautiful voice throughout this commentary. Well, you know, it's better than the monotone impressions of Daniel Wordy. What are you talking about? Sounds drunk, not Bombay. <laughs> monotone. <laughs> what are you doing about? <laughs> Joey, You're don't drunk. swear, this is for YouTube. I didn't swear, did I? Didn't ah, I didn't Bombay. Drunk. Uh, I, I replaced all the swear words with happy words. Okay. What is the happy word? I, 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 I haven't thought of one yet. Uh, is bananas a happy word? No, that's more average word, not happy. I, I don't even get much emotion from bananas. That was phallic. Bumbag! That's a funny word. Okay, <laughs> bumbag. Okay, where well, every swear word I replace with the word bumbag, and not fanny pack. Before any of you start saying what a bumbag is, it's not a fanny pack. Unless you're in America, then that's acceptable. It's a bumbag. It's a bumbag. There's always one. Of course, bringing you plenty of tips throughout this video <laughs> in terms of what to speak about bags rather than the actual gameplay. No, you well, see, I uh, clearly I have a bum bag on since I have two tomahawks instead of one. <laughs> I was carrying them in a bum bag. Ah, uh, yes. That's where your motion sensor goes as well, doesn't it? Oh, God. Alright, to talk about the gameplay briefly before we get distracted once again. Uh, we're playing Ground War here. It's obviously Domination. Uh, right, what do you guys think of Ground War then in Black Ops? Is it better than standard Domination TDM? Do you have to play it differently? Or is it just pretty much the same with a couple extra players for you? Uh, I would say it's more difficult because there's a lot more players, so you get more chance of being like more people around you, which is really stupid thing to say, but I've said it now, so it's still it. Well, it, it, it makes sense. I mean, it's not groundbreaking, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. I think it's harder for the simple fact that the connection is split across more people, so there's obviously more lag throughout the entire yeah. game. So it changes how your aiming works. I, I think servers in uh, Modern Warfare 3 would go a long way to improving this game. Oh yeah. That's what every game needs to do, that servers. <laughs> oh yes! Oh, look at the servers on that game! Whoa. Hey, key example. Bad company too. Never fault it. Exactly, it's good. Actually, uh, I think the best servers I've played on a uh, console is Homefront. I mean, say what you want about the game, I think, in terms of just the hit detection and just the connection to the game, I think it's incredible. Homefront does have the best servers. It is a fantastic game in that respect. It's just a shame that the gameplay itself falls in comparison. <laughs> yeah, gameplay is boring, right. but I mean, you can have a really good connection. Yeah! I mean, because that, that is probably one of the uh, most annoying things of COD, like, it is so connection-based, because 
a lot of the game like is a one-on-one -on -one battle. Two people turning a corner, you both shoot. The one with the best accuracy wins, but also the one with the best connection is usually likely to win. So I mean, if you've got a bad connection, you've got to like completely change the way you play. So you're always coming up behind them or side on. You basically have to always be shooting them first. Which, I mean, is doable, but it's, it's just annoying that you Hello. can't win by just skill. Yeah, I had a bad connection during, during things of COD 4, so I had that problem, but come Modern Warfare 2, it was a lot easier. Well, how, how come? Because I had a better connection. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so not, nothing to do with the game, it's just... <laughs> no, nothing to do with the game, just my connection was better. Uh, okay. Because I think it's, like, tough for us as well, because we, we all live in Britain. Like, most of the servers are, like, American. Well, not the servers, most of the hosts are from America, and if we've run an American host, it's just sort of, we have such a big disadvantage from everyone else in the game, it's we're really frustrating. That's how we set our search preferences to local only, so you can only think British servers. Do we do that? <laughs> I do that. Uh, well, I'm not normally searching, you know, I, I just follow the crowd normally. <laughs> That's why I'm always host to it. <laughs> Yeah, when uh, me and Craig did, we were almost always uh, like the whole. One of us is almost always the whole. Well, then you just fancy pants clever then. Yep, well, it makes it easier to play. <laughs> you know, like, very, okay, let's talk about what you're doing here now. Then. What is your, do you have any tactic for this map, or is it just like any other map? Uh, I try, I stay away from B, I don't go near B. Yeah. I'm, uh, I will go A and C down the either like either out uh, catwalk route or the the big warehouse, but I will never go down the middle. It's like suicide. What I normally like to do is pretty much where I am now, or where I was just then, is that main warehouse building. The two front doors at either end is a great place for getting like huge multi kills and just picking up a lot of kills in general because. There's a lot of spawn points in there, so if they're spawning inside there, then there's a lot of them just running out blindly. And there's also, if you're inside, then there's like, they're either going to be spawning either side of you, there's going to be people just running in. It's quite sort of a high traffic area, but it's not like a point where a lot of people are trying to hold. It's not normally a choke point. So you can normally be there by yourself, and then you get like a group of three of them who have just spawned running out, and you can normally catch them all unaware. So you see me basically where I am now, this area by that front door. You'll see me waiting here a lot of the time, like here, just trying to uh, pick them up as they run outside. Oh yeah, that is a very good play. I like that. Yeah, I'm a hawk though. <laughs> and like, if I'm inside, I place like a motion sensor or a clay or like, <clears throat> just in that doorway to the left is like a really hidden place. We're gonna get a specific. I would agree with that too. See what we go. Right get killed. Lol, you're pro. Well, <laughs> no, we're watching you at the moment. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Come on, guys, pick something to talk about quickly now. Come on. <laughs> Don't ruin this. Come on. Bombag, 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 bombag. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Say that again. Since I was uh, sound baiting there. If anything in this game compared to the rest of the COD series is dramatically different. The so fact is really stuffed up the fucking snipers in this game. To no end I would agree. The, the aiming just doesn't work. I don't understand what they've actually done half the time, because you aim on someone, you fire, it doesn't Bomb bag. In any Arcade game, they're dead, they're sorted with that's it. But in this game, you really just got to hope for the death half the time that you've actually killed the person. Especially the L961. I don't, un like, I don't get why that seems to be a lot worse. Because, I mean, if someone is stand like, I've had it several times in, in the same game, Occasionally, someone will be standing perfectly still, and you shoot them, and it just doesn't hit them for no reason whatsoever. They're not moving, you're not moving. You shoot them, and there's no hit marker. Yeah, you think they'd be the most accurate sniper as well, given it's the bolt action one, which tends to be the most favourite in the game. Yeah, the PSG like almost doesn't have that problem. Like the PSG is much better for it. Like it's much more accurate. Well, what, what, what COD game? Is actually the best accuracy. Sorry, Joey, when you <laughs> Sorry, I was just saying, what COD game do you reckon that's got sniping right there? Which COD game just the, the most balanced, most fun? Yeah, I think I think Modern Warfare Four. Is definitely. Four, I would say probably. Like, I'd say they're both probably equal. I wouldn't say they've got anything particularly wrong with either of them. 
both the same really, except Modern Warfare 2 has more attachments for your sniper. I think the maps are a bit better for snipers in Modern Warfare 2. No, they're a bit more favourable. Yeah, they're the bigger. <laughs> they're a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I like the sniping in Call of Duty too. I know neither of you have played it that much, but I mean, just like the fact that there's no perks or anything, so like the guns are by default a one hit kill to the chest, and like you can have them with your scope or without scope. I mean, it is, I mean, Call of Duty 2 is a lot like a sniper lobby all the time, but I mean, the sniping is good fun in that game. Yeah, and with that, this just about wraps up this commentary, Joey. Really. It does. <laughs> Thanks for that, Craig. <laughs> right. See you later, everybody. Cheers for watching the video. Bye. Don't be. Bomb bag. Howdy, everybody. Wait, no, I want to say goodbye, don't I? Aww. Oh, don't say yeah. hello at the end of the video. We've got to do another video now. Can't start, ah. end with hello. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. Welcome to the end of a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. <laughs> goodbye. That works. Minute and a half for me laughing to start, yeah, it's good commentary. Roll it. Okay, quickly before this video is over, we have time for this week's bonus clip, which is this week sent in by Afrodan, the very same Afrodan that was in this commentary, uh, who manages to fire Estrella, which is, misses its target. Actually, it goes through its target of the helicopter, spins all the way back round, and manages to actually kill a player. And this is something that I have seen before, but I haven't seen it that often and never in quite an epic fashion. Uh, if you want to send in your clips, then either message me on YouTube or on my gamer tag, which is Stampy Long Nose, all as one word. Uh, if you don't have a capture card, it's fine. Just send me uh, what video in your file share you want me to capture. I'll capture it for you and put you in the video. Cheers for watching, everyone, and I'll see you later.